This is Bill Board with PNX News, and I'm here tonight with legendary um, star of stage and screen photographer and co-founder of We Got Power, Jordan Schwartz. Hi, hey, Jordan. Hey, gang. Hey, hey, fans out there in Punk's Newsland. So, um, what do you got here? So, I got some. Uh, I have a print here. This is a uh, flag at Moose Lodge. I think it was. Uh, 2014. This was the first flag gig at Moose Lodge with Dezo playing. It's a pretty awesome show, somewhat historic. And additionally, I'm wearing a, a Brian Walsby shirt, which was another photo taken at that time. Somebody else shot the photo, but pretty much the same perspective of that shirt as well. I picked the shirt up. Uh, flag was on tour with uh, Punk Rock Bowling at the Punk Rock Bowling in uh, Vegas. But yeah, I have this print and another print hanging here, uh, a Jello Biafra print as well. You know what I like about this is if you look at the side, the, the yeah. print goes all the way around the oh, sides. Yeah. No, it's a trip. It's uh, bonus footage. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a, it, 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 it's a little challenging to crop it, but they, they should, when you crop it, it shows you what the edges are. But yeah, you get a little bonus. I think there's some bonus guest list right there, Billy's, uh, Billy's guest list. How cool is that? Yeah. I think that says depression. A little chunk of punk rock history there. Yeah. Speaking of history, I think I remember first noticing you in some videos. Baba. Yes. Back in the day, uh, maybe I, were you in Desperate Teenage Love Dolls, or yeah, how yeah. were you involved with that? So uh, I met uh, Dave Markey uh, in Santa Monica around 1979-1980, uh, uh, and he was making films, uh, Super 8 films and doing a, sort of a fanzine which is from kids around the neighborhood mm -hmm. uh, and I helped him on those projects and that's where I kind of got into photography uh, and we were into music like Devo, ska stuff, Talking Heads and then around, it was 80, 81, around the time we got turned on to the Decline of Western Civilization soundtrack and um, Black Flag Jealous Again EP and uh, First Dead Kennedy's record, Fresh Fruit. By that time it was like, boom, hardcore. And then it turns out we were right in the middle, more or less uh, ground zero for Southern California hardcore. So we already had the skills to do, uh, to do print stuff, film and what have you. So we just took that and focused it uh, towards the hardcore punk rock scene mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a friend, Kim Pilkington, who was also one of the founders of We, we Got Power Magazine, which we founded, and uh, she had a car, and we'd just go to gigs, I'd shoot photos, Dave would lay out the print, lay out the letter set, we'd, we'd do interviews and what have you, and that was it, and also along with my sister Jennifer. And then a little later, we hooked up with the dudes from Red Cross and some other fans, and uh, started and did a film called Desperate Teenage Love Dolls, which was about an all-girl rock band and how they kill and fuck their way to the top. And then a sequel to that, Love Doll Superstar. Uh, Dave Markey also did a um, documentary of that LA, early LA hardcore scene called The Slog Movie. Uh -huh. And uh, later went on, uh, Sonic Youth had called him to take uh, to do a tour in 1991. Uh, in Europe with this new band Nirvana that had just recorded a new album called Nevermind but nobody knew what it was and yeah. they went and did the tour uh, and that was the film 1991 the year punk roll. Wow. So, cool. That's it in a nutshell. I seem to remember, were, were you involved in a, black, a Notorious Black yes, Flag yes, video? Yes, yeah. I, uh, as the We Got Power magazine ran from about 81 to 84 and as things were winding down um, I started working as a press agent and a booking agent at SST Records with Chuck Bukowski, mm -hmm. and uh, that was my war had come out and Slip It In was uh, Slip It In had just been released, and so uh, we uh, since Dave Markey could make films, uh, we also hooked up with David Travis, uh, who now runs Cafe Nela. He had a, a, a pretty awesome uh, VHS video camera and editing system, so we shot the Slip It In video. Is what you're referring to? It's a classic. To. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, Greg Ginn, Raymond Pettibone's dad was a professor at uh, L.A. Harbor College. Uh, he got us the uh, the room, and we just went in there and shot that. The budget was about seventy five dollars, including bus fare. So who who all was in that video? Do you remember um, the the names of some of the performers? Well, it was basically basically just me as the teacher lip syncing, and mm -hmm. then uh, my sister and Kim Pilkington. Uh, Jack Brewer from Sacred Trust, his cousin, just this uh, Sandy Glaze, just all the girls. We, you know, we just had to populate it with a with a bunch of young girls. Right, exactly. And and then 
let the let nature take its course, more or less. <laughs> yes, a uh, uh, definite gem in the film archives. Yes. So, uh, what are you doing today? Uh, you're so, taking yeah, some pictures? Hey, and... uh, I always, whenever I bump into tequila at various gigs around here, I always find out when she's doing the next uh, punk museum thing, and I just happen to have some new new prints. I'm, so I'm showing this and another print of uh, Jello Biafra uh, at Alex's bar, uh, subtitled No Decision 2016. And he's dressed up kind of this freaky Uncle Sam variant. Um, but we actually were doing, it's about a four year anniversary, so uh, four years ago, uh, Dave Markey and I released a, a book called We Got Power Magazine scenes of Southern California hardcore 1980s, something like that on Bazillion Points Records. When the book came out, we did a, uh, uh, a gallery show with over 140 uh, prints, uh, mostly black and white, things from the books, and also from this, uh, some of this 35 millimeter stuff Dave shot on the 1991 uh, tour. Uh, we did a show at Track 16 in Santa Monica. We're doing a kind of a reprise of that show at a, at a place called a Record Shop and Gallery in downtown called Pop Obscure Records on Los Angeles Street between 7th and 8th. Saturday, October 8th is the opening. It's going to be a blowout. Uh, Jatane Damone Quartet will be playing and then another special guest band uh, that, that we're sorting out. Sounds great. And I, I'm sure, I don't know if you caught Jatane Damone. I saw Jatane Damone. Yeah. Well, I saw him at the Punk Rock Museum. Oh, Punk Rock Museum they're Wing great. Yeah. They're awesome. Star-studded lineup. Too. Yeah, it's a Rick yeah. Agnew from the Adolescents and Christian Death. Jatane's from Christian Death. And uh, Paul Rossler from Screamers, DC3, etc., etc., etc. Twisted and Roots, it, Twisted Roots, Fancy Space People. And he played on. Uh, he actually played some keyboards on the Fresh Fruit, the Dead Kennedys Fresh Fruits from Rotting, Fresh Fruits Rotting Vegetables. And Nina Hagen, as well. Did say Nina Hagen, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, the, yeah. yeah. He's been around. So yeah, they're they're, they're very, too. very, very trippy stuff so, yeah well, and, and it looks good in in, in galleries so it sounds good <laughs> that's so true. that'll be fun that's true so do you have a website or anything uh we got powerbook.com and then on facebook just search for we got power uh, that's facebook is really kind of where it, where it's happening for me i like that because i'm still going to gigs and shooting photos and whatnot so i like i can just maybe shoot some with the iphone throw some stuff up immediately put some right. wise ass comments in there then shoot uh more formal DL DLSR stuff like this type stuff, kind of prepared more formally and then but posted up as well. So yeah, Facebook is good, and it's just interacting with people, joking around. Um, you know, for example, uh, Brian Walsby uh, actually has done a shirt for us. Uh, you know, by you know by looking at some of the pictures and whatever, just kind of did a shirt, but that's all just kind of bullshit with each other on Facebook. So that's that's a place to get a hold of me. Cool. Well, I'm I'm glad to see you. Uh, you know, keep. And that's up. where I watch. I get clued into fucking Bye. Punk's News. That's yeah. right. I only get all my news about the scene from Punk's News on Facebook. All Jesus right. Well, thank you. Thanks for the plug. Yeah. Hi. Fuck off. <laughs> and here we have uh, the, the the founder yeah, our, yeah. and. Uh, Jordan. And the leader of the punk yeah. museum empire. Sieg Heil, big <laughs> smile. <laughs> hey. Sieg Freud. Yeah. Sigmund Sieg Freud. Sieg Sieg Sputnik. <laughs> oh, and here's, here's what the book looks like as well. So It's a rocket book. It's fucking, it's awesome. Yeah. And the future is even better than you imagined it. Because <laughs> there is no future, but the future of the future yeah. is even better than the future. Yeah, I thought I thought Johnny said no future. Oh, it's no future for you? Oh, no, <laughs> just no, no, for you. Not for you, but for you. No future. Not for you, <laughs> but for you. Sometimes for you. The future is where it's happening, so join the expected crowd gathering now. In the future. Well, Saturday, October 8th at Pop Obscure. That's future right. We'll be here now. And maybe a tequila will show up as well. So. Yeah, yeah, we might just see her there. So this has been Bill Board reporting live from the Punk Rock Museum here in Los Angeles, California. Now back to you in the newsroom.